G'day guys, Unforsaken Bricks back again with another video. This time, as I promised in the last city update, I will finally do a review for this. Uh, this one definitely is going up after the city update, so you won't see this one until after the city. But I'm finally, finally giving you the update for the Ghostbusters Firehouse. So what I'll do is I'll do a quick walk around the entire building. So we'll start off with the front. Slimer hanging out the front there, a sausage. Sorry for the glare in the background, but you can see through my back door. Um, as you see, nice clean looking brick building. So coming up to the side here, we've got one of the one of the ghosts floating around the side. AC vent sitting in the side there, at the side entry. The back, which is very, very basic build. Nothing, obviously nothing going on there, you don't see it. It's backed up. We've got the hinge for the door. I'll just sweep around back the other way. We're right back on to the left side here. We've got the blue ghost there. We've got the um, the ladders and the whatever, whatever you call them, banisters, whatever you want to call them. And obviously the roof, you've got the AC vent at the top, we've got some my sig fig and one of the other ghosts there. So we'll take a quick look on the inside and I'll just bring my light a bit closer. So I'll open up the door, we'll start on this side, we've got Dana sitting in there, just at the top of the stairs, not doing much. So this side, this uh, side is just basic, just looks like stairs. Stairs and a little post box type thing. Just open up this one. You're going to see a little bit of a shadow and I apologise for that because the light's behind the camera. Bring it to the side so you can actually see. So we'll start up, start up the top floor. Got a little lab. A little lab with the computer and then you've got sort of like the billiards room, pool table, queues up the side, little map of the city. Just swing onto the door as well. A little bathroom. Actually no, don't, it's the wrong level. You've got sort of part of the lab again. I go over just to the top of the fire extinguisher, we've got the top of the, the fire pole, which is pretty cool. Sweep back down to the middle level. Light in there, you've got the kitchen, and like the breakfast table. A little arcade and the fireplace in the back there. And of course you've got the bedroom. With, uh, I think that's Tully, just woken up from a nap. Here we've got the bathroom with the zombie taxi driver having a bath. There's, there's nothing going on on that little platform there. And obviously we've got the main office downstairs. We've got two, two desks, one with the computer, one without. A little filing cabinet in the back. Up to the, so right there you've got tool cabinet for I guess where the Ecto-1 can come in. Come in and out through these doors here. Or just the walk-in door on the side there. And then obviously we've got the, the lockers. Get their, their, uh, their ghost sucking packs. I mean, it was a pretty fun build. It did take me about three weeks to do because I did have other projects and whatnot happening at the same time, <coughs> as, well, as well as life in general. Um, but yeah, so, so it took me three weeks to do in total, four and a half thousand pieces. There is a fair few spares for the small pieces, but they're only little ones. You know, not nothing too important. Nothing you can need to change with. 
for the price I'd say it's very well worth it and I would definitely recommend anyone who wants to splurge the cash to go get one thank you guys for watching if you liked it please leave a like comment subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one Unforsaken out <laughs>